Hey y'all, I am in my bed getting ready to go to bed. Have to start this work week. I have so much stuff to do this week. I have a doctor's appointment Friday. No, I have a doctor's appointment Thursday evening. I have to take off work Friday to get ready for my husband's Christmas party. And I have some more things that I have to take care of. Um Monday, I really don't have anything to do but go to work. Tuesday, go to work. Wednesday, go to work. And then Thursday is my doctor's appointment. I am exhausted. I cooked today. I cooked some fried chicken, some greens, and some dirty rice. Well, I didn't cook the dirty rice. I bought the dirty rice. So, that's what they had for dinner. And I took all this makeup off. You probably like it, but you left your eyebrows on. No, I didn't. That makeup bladed. So, it don't come off. I don't know what some of y'all did y'all microblading. Because mine has lasted almost two years with no problem. And they still look good. I don't know. Maybe it's the technique she used. Um, But yeah. I cleaned up my room today. I folded up clothes. If y'all hear background stuff, that's because I have TVs on everywhere in my house. But I cleaned up. I should have cleaned up my makeup desk, but I didn't. My daughter's going to clean my bathroom for me because I don't feel like it. But my bedroom, I did clean my bedroom really, really good. I cleaned off my dresser where my TV is and just, like, got all the clutter from over there. And then this other dresser that's by my closet in my bathroom, I cleaned it off and put all my candle collections there. Because um, we did go to the Bath & Body Works in my... No, the Bath & Body Works candle day sale. I bought 12 candles. Plus, I already had 28. So, yeah, you already know. Um, and now I'm just sipping on that wine. I need to close those two drawers. Why is this one open? I don't know. And yeah, I'm not doing anything. Get ready to turn my fan on. I organized my clothing rack today. And oh, this, yes, I straightened it up. So y'all see it's been cleaned off and straightened up. And y'all, I have made it my New Year's. Uh, not it's not a, it's not even a New Year's resolution resolution because I've already decided this before New Year's that 2020 will be the year that I do not spend as much. I do more saving because I bank with a certain bank and they give you a snapshot of what you spend your money on the most. Y'all know what I spend my money on the most: shopping and food. So this year I won't be doing I can take this off for a little while because my, my hair is braided and need to get unbraided. I go to the beauty shop um on the 28th to get it washed, trimmed, and rebraided. But um I won't be doing any major shopping in 2020 as far as clothes because I will be utilizing every piece I have in here, every sweater, every shirt, every pair of jeans that I have in my drawer. I will be mixing and matching those pieces and utilizing them. I will not lie. I will be purchasing shoes. I think I have made a conscious decision to purchase three wigs this year and they're going to be human hair wigs. Three human hair wigs this year and five synthetic wigs this year that is it other than that, i won't be making any purchases other than those purchases um my y'all know keep my nails did they're cute huh keep my nails did and that's it i won't be doing anything um out of what i'm supposed to be doing so yeah um what else um yeah that's it and um yeah i'm not doing anything else gotta get ready for work for tomorrow i packed my lunch already i loaded my car with my laptop and my planner bag i have to turn in my last minute assignments for my final exam um and the, other than that, I don't really have anything that I have going on this week. This week is going to be pretty... Oh, I have lunch with my cousin 
my other cousin um saturday at two o'clock we're meeting at gringo's she wants to treat me to lunch so shout out to my cousin jazz um we reconnected we hadn't talked to each other for like two ye two or three years and i don't even know why don't even ask me why but it's obvious that we love and care about each other and we both have grown um she has kids i have kids we're both trying to make it <clears throat> we're both trying to survive we're both trying to live our best lives we're both trying to be focused individuals and those are the type of women that i have to surround myself with because i have made a conscious decision that 2020 is my year i'm claiming it i'm i'm going about it as if it's my year and i am even if when things are not ideal of how 2020 is supposed to be for me i am finding ways to make it work for me i'm going in with a positive mindset a positive attitude a positive outlook and i'm just gonna knock 2020 out the park and 2020 will be my five-year anniversary i will also be turning 39 um but i think i want to take a cruise for my five-year anniversary i'm not sure we haven't like quite decided yet but um i know we're doing a five-year photo set five-year photo session we did one on i think our first or second year photo session of wedding anniversary so we're definitely doing for our five um i'm turning 39 so i'm doing a weekend with key where we're doing brunch and me and my cousin is doing a photo session my cousin i know the one that's always with me we're doing a photo session together it's called best friends photo session because she turned 40 and i'm turning 39 um what else are we doing we are we are hopefully purchasing a new truck in 2020 um i'm going to be more focused on trying to get my car paid off a little early um so i know i'm finna get ready to pay my car up for at least six seven months so that way i'll be six or seven months ahead on car notes and i'll just be paying my car note every month um I just got so much stuff to do walking into 2020 and I'm going to take time while I'm at work tomorrow and write it all down, plan it all out. Um, I am in a savings challenge with Marquita 83 um, or is it Marquita 87? Um, I think it's Marquita 87. I want to say it's 87, but it might be 83. I'll put it somewhere over here. I'm in a savings challenge with her. Um, but I, I've also started saving on my own, but I do have a set amount that I save every two weeks um, to put in my savings account. Because by the end of 2020, I want my goal, which is going to be hard because y'all know I like to spend. But my goal is to have at least $20,000 saved up. And that means a lot of budgeting, a lot of not eating out, a lot of saying no to things that I would normally say yes to. So, and then my children have savings accounts. The hardest thing is going to be because they're spoiled. So the hardest thing with me trying to save twenty thousand dollars in twenty twenty is them me having to tell them no when they ask me for stuff. My hair long. Look at it. It's like a number one. There's going to be a lot of no eating out. Um. Now they do have their own checking account, so if they want to go into their money and eat out, that is on them. But me financially going into 2020, my goal is, like I said, to save $20,000. So I can't eat out a lot. Um, You're going to hit me in my <laughs> eye. Stop hitting me. So, um, what else? Yeah, that's going to be the hardest thing, telling them no. But they had a nice 2019, so they should be all right. I mean, I'm a, and I've decided that I'm, we're not going to be doing a lot of shopping in 2020 at all. We will hit the, I just want shoes. We will hit the uh, semi-annual sales, and we will hit, like, they have semi-annual, Fashion Nova has a semi-annual sale twice a month. We'll hit the semi-annual sales, and we'll hit, um like, shoes. They get shoes no matter what, but, like, clothes on top of clothes on top of clothes. No, I'm doing that maybe twice, maybe three times a month. I'm doing doing it for 
summer. I'll be doing it for winter time and I'll be doing it for spring. That's it. We're going shopping three times a month with a spending budget. So, but they know how to make their clothes work for them. They can wear a pair of jeans and wear five different shirts with them jeans. So, I got like a whole bunch of jeans and wear the same pair of jeans all the time. Exactly. So, we're good. Um, oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, I'm supposed to be in a up. shower, but I heard you recording. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, that's good. Oh, no, it's not. But yeah, you close. But yeah, the hardest part is I can't hold it. My arm hurts. But yeah, the hardest part is going to be me trying to save y'all because I have a spending problem. It's ridiculous and it's sad. It, it truly is sad. It's ridiculous and it's truly sad. And they're pretty good at telling me, no, mom, you don't really need this. And sometimes I do listen to them, but sometimes I get real snappy and be like, it's my money. I ain't spent nothing in a while. Let me enjoy myself. It's a gift to myself. It's a gift to myself. I work hard. That's I my work thing. hard. But in actuality, that's just an excuse for me to buy something. So 2020, no more excuses. I will hold myself accountable. Now, my mm -hmm. perfume collection is pretty freaking awesome. So I will not be purchasing. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably per going to purchase four perfumes in 2020. Just four. Just because I have, like, I counted 26 perfumes. I own 26 perfumes. And four of my backups have backups. So I don't need no perfumes. Um, but other than that, I will not be doing anything. I plan on being content. 2020 is a year of contentment and a year of elevation and a year of being financially situated. Because I was telling my daughter, um, we heard that conversation yesterday. She was like, money's not everything. You don't need, I don't need a bunch of money. No, you don't need a bunch of money. No, money's not everything. But you want to have money saved up for hard times. You want money to have money saved up for emergencies. You want money. You want to start saving now and putting your money, investing your money now. So when you get older, you don't have to work hard. Work hard now. Do what you need to do now. So when you get older, you can chill and relax. I know people that's 50, 60 years old that's going to be working forever. Can you scratch my arm? Go up, go up, go up. No, down, down, all the way down, all the way down to my wrist. <laughs> all right. Oh, you had it. Go back up. Ooh, 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 right there. Keep scratch. Ooh, right there. It's your chicken, your leg. <laughs> you doing a rude boy? Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. But I have to take my own advice. I can't teach them how to save get back to it it's itch again if i'm not being an example on saving i have to be an example oh lord she's shaking up. i wish i could see this she's acting like a puppy dog i have to be their example so okay. i have to save as well so i'm going to start saving more um and spending less it's gonna be hard as hell but i really don't need nothing i know y'all hear me say this all the time but i swear to god Everybody that come to my house say, I don't need any. There's nothing I need. If I say I need Get something. Get out of here. If I say I need something, I'm really lying. I don't need nothing. Like, I don't need a wig. I don't need a purse. I don't need clothes. I don't need shoes. I don't need hair. Okay, I might need some hair, hair products. I don't need makeup. You I just bought soap for that. Because your daddy's stinky. But other than that, I didn't. I don't need anything. Speaking of soap, I actually do need some more soap. And we got to get ready to buy another wash and dryer. You're probably like, Kia, I thought you just bought a wash and dryer. We're letting that one go because something didn't work out how it was supposed to. And I I wanted to do a 90 days same as cash option and it did not work. And I'm not going to pay $5,000 for a $1,200 washing machine to dry it. There's nothing in there. Don't play yourself. Um, so, okay. You're going to be hurt. Okay, so we're going to have to buy another washing machine and dryer. Don't wait! Don't waste some crumbs on my bed. You're gonna waste them on my bed. Put it back in the bag. So that is what we're doing, and yeah, that's it. My arm hurts. She has a sweet sixteen coming up. Oh, 
and she wants to take drive it clicked off so we're getting ready to get her ready for driving driving school and other than that yeah stop eating all the popcorn mama all the children have cell phones now mama you want clothes and all of them know that if they don't do what they're supposed to do in school she give it and she take it away i got two more classes to bring up yeah but they're they're trying i will say so she's I bring up my definitely class. trying Loretta has slacked up. We're trying to get him back on track. Um, but I believe in him, so I know he'll get it. He just... You know, when you meet new friends, you try, I, well, I don't know, because I don't try to impress nobody. But, you know... Real though. <laughs> it don't be entertaining me, though, boy. Sometimes, you, you know, until you grow into the fact that you don't have to do that with people, you can just be yourself. And if they rock with it, they rock with it. And if they don't, they don't. Until he learns that concept. So, but other than that... Um, he was A's and B's and he just went down. So we're my focus now is I was focused on trying to get her make sure her grades got up. Now my focus is making sure his grades get up. So that's what I'm focusing on now. He said he's suspended tomorrow. No, he has detention tomorrow. Mm. After school. Dang. Uh, I ain't never had after school detention. I ain't had detention, lunch detention, enrichment yeah. is detention. Never after school. So um but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of changes. It's going to be a lot of changing with my vlogging. It's going to be a lot of changes with my um, household. It's going to be a lot of changes financially. It's going to be a lot of changes personally. There's going to be a lot of changes going on over here at the Webs residence. So, yeah. I'm going to get out of here because I didn't talk to you guys enough. It's hot. I just turned the air on. We finna get out of here. Remember, if nobody told you, oh, don't forget y'all got to do them dishes. I know. Remember, if nobody told you you're Mama. beautiful, remember Simply Key will always tell you beautiful. What? Stop, stop reminding me about stuff I need to know. Because need. you simply are. And we will see you guys in the next vlog. Mommy, need an iPhone. I'm tired of doing users. Can I see you on video? I don't, I'm tired of those droid apps. That Google Duo is annoying. I Skype you too. I deleted that. Oh, not my problem. I need to be able to see you. So you're gonna keep that duo on there. You don't need to see me. You I don't like iPhones. Me. iPhones are too computerized. I like simplicity. Well, I like droids because they make me look cute on here. Like this this phone is doing me justice. I really like a bomb. I mean I still like a bomb, but right now it's doing way more justice than than look. Our pictures came out pretty. Oh, goodbye y'all. I'm finna show her our pictures. <laughs>